He beat out 67 other candidates over a lengthy hiring process to become this city's new integrity commissioner. And his name is Earl Bassey, uh, Hamilton's commissioner. Welcome to Hamilton and welcome to Cable 14. It's a pleasure to have you, Earl. Tell us about yourself to begin things. Thanks, Jason. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, first of all, I, I, uh, I find that uh, having been successful in this position is has given me some gratification for it because I, I enjoy what, what uh, the duties are. But I come from a background of, of this kind of, uh, of ilk in that I, I have a background in policing with 25 years in the RCMP. And I was an inspector when I left there, as well as uh, investigations with the Vancouver Stock Exchange and KPMG in their forensic area. Yeah, much of what you've done is in the forensic area of late uh, with your full-time gig and, and uh, with the Vancouver Stock Exchange. But there's more to this job in Hamilton than just investigating where the money went, for example. Oh, absolutely. The, the job here entails really four separate areas. One is I, I provide advice and guidance to counsel. If they're in a position where they, they, uh, they're not sure if what they're doing is, is uh, in contravention of the Code of Conduct, they can give me a call and, uh, and I can provide them advice on it. Uh, on uh, what they should do. So advice and guidance is one area. The other is educating them. I educate the, the counselors with seminars and uh, to let them know, you know, areas of ethics and areas of integrity and, and how they should conduct themselves. The third is a review of the code of conduct because essentially it's the code of conduct that I, uh, I look after, that I, I enforce, so to speak. And uh, I review it to make sure it, it meets the needs of, of the city and uh, and then the fourth one is the investigation of complaints. And uh, those are the ones that uh, the public gets, uh, has their hand in and uh, wants done. Does it matter who complains, Mr. Bassey, or does Not it have really. to be an internal complaint? It can be from the public, it can be from uh, other counselors, uh, essentially anyone and, uh, can complain. And, and for some, it's a quick remedy, I'm sure, and for others, it's a lengthy investigation. Absolutely. Some it doesn't take long at all. Just a review of what's happened, uh, look at the facts, have a, have a look at maybe some uh, council meeting minutes, and I can get back fairly quickly. Others it takes a long time to investigate. Well, we'll long. look at the other three criteria of your four, which you pointed out off the top in just a moment, but uh, still with complaints, if you don't mind. Sure. How many thus far here in the city? You started January 1st. I started January the 1st, and really I'm just, just kind of ramping up, but uh, I have received two from... Uh, from the clerk's office thus far. And, and one is uh, one we're all too familiar with. Is it is it fair uh, to talk about it or the fact that you are an integrity uh, commissioner and I'm guessing the investigation is ongoing? I speak, of course, uh, about the Terry Whitehead allegations of, uh, I guess it's verbal abuse. Is that the allegation? Jason, I'm really not at liberty to discuss any of the, any of the complaints that I have received. At some point, once the investigations are concluded and reports are submitted, the reports go to council and uh, it is then that, that it, they are aired to the public. They become okay. public information. Okay. Now you did the job in Windsor. You still will do the job in, in Windsor while working Hamilton as an integrity commissioner here, if, that, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. If, if that's the will of the council, yes. Oh, okay. So you're waiting on Windsor's uh, council decision to continue there now? Yes, I am. Yeah. And when do you expect that decision to be? Made? I expect that uh, on the 1st of February. No problem doing both jobs and continuing your business on the side, which oh. is an investigative business, if I'm not mistaken? No, the, it, there is no problem with that. It, it's, this, is on a this is really a complaint-oriented. Uh, insofar as the other three uh, areas that I look at, um, that, that's, I put all that together, and it, it's a fairly, uh, it, takes, it takes time to do it, but I don't, have these, don't see any problems uh, covering both areas. Now, they give you the business on a few occasions there in Windsor, some anyway, with regards to the job as integrity commissioner. They had that lengthy uh, 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 city strike, I guess it was uh, last summer, and uh, some, uh, I guess, said that there was a source that leaked you. Can you talk about stuff you investigated that's now over and done with? I can do that, but it, it's, it has to, to do, do with Windsor. Leak? and uh, so, there, was, there was a leak, and it has to do with Windsor, and I, I think it's better that the... The report is public. It's on the Windsor uh, website, and uh, that's. But did you? What I was going to get at, Mr. Bassey, is you learn something from some of these uh, altercations that maybe didn't work out to everyone's advantage. I always learn from investigations. It's at, you know, no matter how old you get, if you stop learning, you you've stopped life. And uh, I learn from all of them, and uh, I tend to uh, not make the same mistakes twice if I've made any. 
Okay, uh, just for the record, since I got into it, some blame the leak for prolonging the strike uh, for another month on uh, that length investigation and uh, 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 is something to do with the investigation, I guess. And uh, also, you were criticized, I guess, for taking 14 months to dismiss uh, what you called a frivolous complaint against Windsor's Mayor Eddie Francis for meeting with the then Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, who was uh, an alleged felon. There's a lot to this job. It's very dramatic. Is it like being a cop? It, it's a little like that. Uh, there is a, a lot of areas to it that you have to look at and you have to make sure that, that you dot all the I's and cross all the T's. Because in fairness, uh, uh, so, some people's lives are, are dependent on it. And uh, so you have to be very careful of what, what you do and the results that you do eventually report. You were also a minor hockey rep. Do you compare it to that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, a little like that. A little like that too? <laughs> sure. <You're, laughs> You, you live it? in Waterloo. Is that probably it may be a good thing? I I think it 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 may be a good thing, but it, I don't think it matters where where you where you really live. Um, you under you have to understand the community, and I get to know that by through the newspapers, through the media, and uh, and through websites, and uh, and I, I make an effort to try and learn about the community I, I'm yeah. I'm uh, I'm involved in. Uh, it was uh, December 30th, you told Emma Riley from the Hamilton Spectator, I don't know a lot uh, uh, with regards to Hamilton. That was December 30th. How about now? I'm sure learning a lot. Uh, yeah. I will be learning a lot more in the next little while because part of the function is to, I will be interviewing all counselors uh, to, to get their information on, on what they expect of the Integrity Commissioner. And I will be also be looking at developing a website so that the public can let me know what they expect because managing expectations of the council, of public, and the media is probably one of the largest challenges there is. Oh, managing integrity issues, I cannot mm -hmm. imagine. I mean, some you're gonna have to seriously look at and others you're gonna have to, I don't know, pass along to some other department, really. I mean, you, you're you're probably going to receive an influx early, particularly with the attention you yourself and your position is getting. Um, I, I expect there may be a, a number that will be uh, reporting uh, incidents to me, and uh, I will look at them. In the, initially, it will probably be a lot, but or and, may, and may be a lot. I don't know. Part of your gig is to prioritize, too, I would guess. Uh, uh, well, it is. Uh, you, you take them as they come in, but uh, some priority ones uh, have to be looked at right away. And it's really... Uh, you know, depending on, I, there is a time constraint within the actual bylaw to uh, to get the investigation completed at a certain time. And we do have a bylaw here? Yes, we do. In place for you and your job? It's it's called the, the uh, uh, Integrity Commissioner Bylaw. Would that make it a little easier in a place like Windsor where I believe there wasn't necessarily a bylaw or a code? It's very, well, there was a code in Windsor. But it was? The, it was, the bylaw here is, is very specific in, in the duties it wants, wants me to look at and it provides me a lot of guidance and direction. Well, that should help you immensely. And you know what else, Earl, will help you immensely as Integrity Commissioner? All the good, friendly people of Hamilton. <laughs> well, I've always found that. May every investigation on integrity uh, be a successful one. And thank you very much. Pleasure to get to know you. Thank you, Jason.